Hi guys, this is Lone Wolf here with a tutorial on some of the shortcuts and features that uh, NEI has that you might not uh, particularly know about. Uh, first we're going to take a look in the options, um, the uh, NEI global options and the NEI world options. The global options apply to everything from uh, you know locally saved worlds to uh, SMP servers that you might play on. If the SMP server has NEI installed on it, it will enable some of the features like controlling the time of day and stuff that we'll take a look at later on. Um, and the world option save settings for that particular world or for that particular server. So you can switch to this and set yourself to like recipe mold only if you're an op on a server and when you're using NEI to look stuff up you don't have to worry about accidentally giving yourself items um, global option these are just the settings that will be applied to anything by default so we'll go into the world options for now and we'll go to cheat mode for this uh, tutorial any uh, options in the NEI world options area that are uh, darkened out are ones that you have not enabled yet. So if I right click on the ones that I have enabled, it will disable them and then I can left click to enable them and change their mode. Uh, I'm going to turn this one on to highlight tips shown. We'll use that in a second. Alright, so the first thing we're going to take a look at in our inventory window here is the uh, the delete command button here. If you left click you can change toggle it on and you can left click on items in your inventory that you want to get rid of so I can get rid of these items here and then if you shift left click on a item of a certain type like these stone slabs it will get rid of all of the same item and then since these are all enchantment books it will get rid of them all if I do that uh, if you shift left click on the delete button itself it allows you to delete everything from your inventory slots and your armor slots uh, it doesn't matter if it's in the on or off mode when you shift left click it the next button is weather control you can toggle the rain state on and off this also works on a server if you have the uh, NEI plugin installed on the server I'm not sure if it works with just a vanilla server or not. Uh, right clicking will disable the rain on your uh, SMP and SSP uh, maps. Uh, the next button is the game mode for your character. You can change between creative and survival with this. And then there's an NEI version of the creative window that gives you kind of an extra storage area if you're working in an area and you don't want to have to place down a chest and you know, go back to that chest to get your items, and then you can also access armor that you might be testing with. Um, like, you can use gravitation suit and the power armor to fly if you don't like uh, the creative flying option. The next button is the magnet mode button, which allows you to pick up items from a distance that are in the world. So if I turn this on, it'll suck up all those items, or if I were to like break a chest and a bunch of items would spill out, it would just all fly into my inventory that way. Uh, the next buttons are for the time of day. You can change the night and daylight if you want to, or disable them by right-clicking. So like if you're testing with mob spawning, you need to see like you know if an area will spawn mobs still at night. You can change that real quick. And then if you disable all but one of them, it will always stay that time of day and you cannot disable the last uh, time of day always one has to be enabled next one is healing the player if you're doing some testing with the uh, survival mode to uh, like make like a trap for players or something you can find out how much damage uh, your player takes and if you, you don't die and you need time to regen you can just use this instead the next feature is the load and save menus here when you have items in your inventory and armor slots if you hit the save button it will save that information locally on your computer uh, so like you can save your uh, stuff that you have on an SMP server and load it up by pressing the load button after you go back into a uh, 
like a creative world like this. Uh, you can delete that particular save by clicking the little red, or clicking the little X box that shows up next to it once you've created the save. Now you can see this one's labeled test. You can actually change the label on these buttons by right clicking and then you can edit whatever you want in there. Um, unfortunately you cannot delete the text that says save or load that's kind of written in there so that you don't accidentally get rid of those. Um, the next thing we're going to take a look at is the recipe lookup stuff for here. And I'm going to go to the options real quick to the controls so that you can see these are some of the keys I'm going to be using for uh, looking up the recipe and looking up the usage when I'm in uh, cheat mode. You can use uh, left click to look up the recipe and right click to look up the usage when you're in recipe mode only. So if we go back to these settings and we go to recipe mode, uh, when I'm using the mouse to hover over the items on the right side of our screen here, I can left click and right click to actually look up the, the recipe and usage of them. And previous recipe, that is if you look up multiple recipes at one after the other, it allows you to back up through them and then enchantments and we're going to look at the rest of these a little bit down the road here. So first off, if I uh, use the hotkey U for usage or right click. I can find out what I can use cobblestone on so I can make furnaces and stuff and then if I do it again on the furnace I can find out what a furnace can make so I can make a furnace minecart and then if I wanted to go back to the previous recipe I just looked up I'll use that hotkey for the the back recipe which was uh, previous recipe which was my delete key in this case uh, the next thing, we'll go back in the options here, is the enchantment window. This is nice if you're doing uh, custom maps and you want to put enchantments on an item like a sword. Oh, I need to go back to uh, cheat mode here. <laughs> there we go, give ourselves some swords, or I think it even works with other items, so we'll get some sticks here too. So you just in your inventory window just hit the hotkey for the enchantments in this case it's X for me by default and then it opens up the regular enchantment interface and you can just drop your item in there and select like what level you want and what enchantments you want on that particular item when you're in the locked mode it only allows you to put enchantments on that item that it would normally accept so if you put like sharpness on the sword it disables the other options that you would normally not be able to combine on the sword if you go to unlocked mode then you can put whatever you feel like putting on there though and it doesn't matter you know how many enchantments you want I think it works with other items as well yes it does so you can create your own custom maps quite easily without having to use uh, MC edit and stuff like that for your for your items at least let's see here in the options what was the next stuff we had uh, show and hide chunk overlay and mob spawning is what we're gonna look at next show and hide is just toggles the NEI interface on or off when you're in your inventory window uh, just make sure you're not in the search bar because otherwise it won't work uh, and next thing was uh, mob and chunk spawning. So I'm going to get some chunk loaders and some torches here so we can use those features. These are really handy features uh, to have. I'm just going to place that down real quick. The uh, chunk, well, let me make sure to get the name right, the chunk overlay, it allows you to see where a particular chunk starts and ends. So if I press the hot key for the chunk overlay, it'll bring up red lines that indicate the corner of a, of all the chunks within, uh, I think, three or four chunks it shows those lines. And then if you hit the toggle again, it'll put a green grid connecting between those so you can find out exactly where the border is all the way along that chunk. And then once more of the hot key will get rid of that. And then we can see with the uh, chunk loader, if we turn on the lasers and tell it to load just one chunk, we can see that the lines will also go in that same area. 
So we'll turn those off again. Uh, the next one is the uh, mob spawning overlay. If you hit the toggle, it'll put red X's wherever mobs are allowed to spawn in the world. Um, it sometimes doesn't work like if it's on top of a machine, sometimes it won't put an X there, but they can still spawn there. So like if we put down a torch, we can see, okay, the torch stops them from spawning in this particular area. And then you just hit the toggle button again to disable that feature. Uh, the one option we enabled earlier, the highlight tool, or the highlight tips shown, allows you to look at a particular block and see what it is without having to pick it up or destroy it accidentally. So in case you don't know if this is an IC2 machine, until you look at it with the highlight tooltips saying okay now I, I have to pick it up with a wrench otherwise it'll it'll destroy the block and I can't put it back down I'm going to turn that off now because I don't generally need that on um, let's see here the next thing is the search bar down here with the recipes when you're looking for certain stuff like the recipe for sword you just left click in the search bar to start typing and you can you know, look up the recipe for it or any other item and a handy feature is if you right click in the search thing it will delete the word that you have in there so you don't have to use the backspace to get rid of it and it also functions as a search feature for inside a chest so if I throw a bunch of these in here and we type in, well, we want the repair book. So let's see here. Actually, I'll load this up with a bunch of books here. And if we double left click, it will change it to search mode. So it will only show the items that have that particular word in it. So these two both have repair in their name or in their uh, description, so they show up and then just double left click again to disable that uh, feature. The next thing is when you're in the cheat mode for NEI, you can uh, set how many items you're going to get when you left or right click on an item. So right now by default if this is zero it will give you 64 items when you left click and it will always give you one item when you right click but you can change this number to however many items you normally want to get. So when you left click you'll get 10 torches at a time instead of 64 at a time. Um, let's see here. Next thing is the item subsets. This is kind of handy if you're looking for a particular mods set of blocks but you don't know which blocks are actually to that mod. You can go in here and find out like okay this one is Minecraft's default stuff, or Mine Factory Reloaded. Here's all the machines and stuff that that mod adds. So you can find out what they are. And if you double left click on this tab, it will deselect the rest of them so you can see just the recipes on the right hand side there that are for this mod. And you can also left click to re enable recipes, uh, viewing your recipes, and right click to disable them. And then there's a whole bunch of submenus that you can do the same thing in. So you can look for particular machines in that one mod and it will semi gray it out. Uh, the next thing is you can right click item submenus and save and load those particular uh, modes. Like right here if I enable items and I disable blocks I can save that by right clicking and save it here just like you would your inventory so I can save those and then I can load up a different set and then I can go back if I need to find those particular mod items really handy features very very handy uh, you can do the same thing where you can relabel them as well just like with your inventory saves and I think that wraps up everything I know if you guys have any uh, you know tips or shortcuts that you know about that I did not cover, uh, please let me know because I'd like to know all those. So, hope you guys uh, learned something. See you later.